how are you all? I hope you're all really, really good. I thought I would come on this week and talk to you about my trip to Mood Fabrics in New York. So some of you might remember I mentioned um, a month or so ago I was going to New York with my husband for a long weekend. It was incredible. We had the most amazing time. Loved everything about it. Yeah, it was absolutely wonderful. But um, I thought what you guys might be interested in was, um, yeah, my trip to Mood. So I thought I would come on, have a little natter, tell you a little bit about it and um, show you the fabrics that I got, of course. So we went to New York for um, four nights and then like four and a half, five days. So we didn't have loads of time and um, didn't plan my trip to mood particularly well. We had a couple of days of really bad rain. So obviously the days that we had um, clear weather, we wanted to make the most of seeing all the other sites and things. My favorite, favorite thing was um, our trip up to the One World Trade Center Observatory uh, on the 101st floor, I think it is. That that will stay with me forever. It was just amazing. And um, you guys that live in New York or in, America close enough to travel to it on a regular basis. I was so lucky. Um, anyway, so um, we had planned in to go, we decided uh, to go to Mood on the Sunday because the weather wasn't particularly great and we couldn't do as many things outside. However, stupidly I didn't check and Mood are actually closed on a Sunday, which is fair enough because so is satisfaction back home. So, um, we didn't go on the Monday, on the Sunday, and then the Monday was actually our last day before we were going home. We flew home at 11 o'clock, or our flight left JFK at 11 o'clock on the Monday night. So I didn't think I was going to be able to go, and my lovely husband knew that I really wanted to go, and um, made sure at the end of the day when we had finished um, what we were doing, he worked out how far away it was and said we could probably like get maybe 40, 45 minutes there, which if any of you have heard of Mood, obviously it's one of the biggest fabric shops in the world. Um, it's really, really famous because of um, its work with Project Runway and some of the other big designers. It's been featured on quite a few TV shows. Um, and 45 minutes really isn't a huge amount of time to spend in it. However, I was happy to seize the um, limited opportunity and we, just finished our walk around the High Line, which is an amazing like um, park, I suppose. Um, that's a couple of miles long and winds around an old um, railway track um, around New York. And then we power walked up to Mood, and yeah, I got 45 minutes in there, and then we had to walk very, very fast straight back to the hotel, grab our bags and get in a taxi to the airport. So the first thing I would say is usually plan a little bit more time if you can, but even if you can't, then just go and grab um, you know, what little time you've got because it was, yeah, I'm really, really glad I went. It was really, really good fun. Um, it was really nice to see it and to be able to kind of tick it off my list and say that I'd been. So it's on um, three floors, but it's actually inside another big, big building and it's um, shared with other businesses. It's in the garment district of New York. And by the time we got there, um, nearly all the other shops were shut, which is fine because I just wanted to go to Mood anyway, but they did look incredible. Um, there was a whole shop, a whole shop with just floor to ceiling zips. I think I've got a picture of it. If I have, I'll pop it up here, um, which was just <laughs> mind blowing. Um, so you'd never struggle to find a zip if you live in New York. Um, so yeah, you go in, you go up into the lift and then you come out on um, to their kind of entrance. You can't take bags and things into Mood, um, which seems very sensible. I can imagine it gets very busy with a lot of fashion students and people um, like me making pilgrimages. So um, they let me keep my small handbag, but my husband had to check in his rucksack um, at the door, which was fine and then when you go in it's on three floors so the floor that you enter on has things like jersey and um, cottons and silks and brocades and lace and beautiful things like that then there's another floor that's got like wools and suitings and more cottons and jerseys and then there's the third 
um, floor that has um, upholstery and furnishing fabrics. Um, and because I was in so much of a hurry and I had such a limited amount of time and I knew I didn't want to buy any furnishing fabrics, I didn't even look at that. So I pretty much stuck to the floor that you go in on, which had um, all the kind of lovely um, silks and brocades and, as I say, quite a lot of jersey and cotton lawns and um, linens, etc. I didn't go in with a set idea of what I wanted, although I would say obviously if, you, if you're kind of nearby and you can go there all the time then definitely take a list so that you know because it would be very easy to be overwhelmed. Um, but if you're going like I was for a special treat then maybe just go thinking that you want to pick up something that you wouldn't be able to get elsewhere. And that's the kind of mindset that I went in with and it meant that even though I was under a lot of um, pressure time wise I knew I was going to find something because I just wanted to pick something that I'd fall in love with so my husband was actually slightly um, overawed as well I and mean, he did say to me how on earth will you choose something um, but I think because I have um, obviously I go to fabric warehouses a lot and I have to pick you know a small selection from thousands and thousands of fabrics quite a lot um, or I'll have um, reps that come and visit me and show me thousands, you know, hundreds of headers um, headers are small samples of fabric and I have to choose from those I'm quite good at just kind of rifling through and finding little gems and I feel like that's what I did so um, I'll show you the fabrics that I got Mood do a lot of ex designer fabrics and um, they also have their own line of fabrics I noticed when I was there so they've obviously designed their own prints and then had them printed on various base cloths they had cotton lawns, stretch cottons etc I was kind of interested in the ex designer stuff um, and they also have a sewing studio there which is quite cool I had a little peek at that um, so you can learn to sew and they do um, even similar classes to we do they do like the introduction to sewing all the way through to more advanced classes um, but yeah I'll show you the couple of bits that I picked up so the first thing is very bright and very bold and um, it is a cotton lawn I hold it up it's quite dramatic so soft so so soft it's got this big um, bold kind of floral uh, purples and black and yeah it's a digital print and it's an ex Pierre Cardin so uh, I think I pronounced that right it's um, Italian I'm trying to find the selvage to show you um, yeah it's so soft and I think it will make a really lovely um, blouse or top of some kind. I could get a dress out of it. I got two yards, so what's that, 1.8 metres? So yeah, I could get a really simple dress out of it, but obviously because it is so bold, um, I'd definitely go for something quite simple. And I have to go for something quite simple anyway because um, I don't have a huge amount of it. But um, yeah, I get that it's probably a little bit Marmite, but it cooled to me. I just, yeah, I really adore it. And I think it will make like a really striking, um, going out dress or top, even maybe a skirt. No, I'd probably go for a, um, a dress or a top just because it's so lightweight. Um, but yeah, so that was the first one. Really loved it. Oh, I do really love it. I wonder how many times I'm going to say love in this video, guys. Um, and then the next one that I got. <laughs> now, if I loved that one, I adore this one so this one I actually saw as soon as we walked in it was on a roll on one of the cutting tables um, on the floor when we entered I thought no I'll go and have a little look around I went down to the other floor had a look around there and then I thought no I'm gonna go back for it and it is a silk brocade and um, it's a really vivid kind of blue look at that it's got these woven sort of raindrops and then little silver woven silver accents to them 
the camera focus back out again. Come back. It's <laughs> better. So um, it's a really nice weight. You could definitely make a dress or a skirt or even you know trousers if you wanted to. But it's got no um, stretch in it. It's um, as I say, it's a brocade, so it's woven in, and it feels gorgeous. And I just fell in love with the colour and the kind of uniqueness of the print. I did try and have a look on their website to see if they had this still, but um, they don't, so I'm sorry I can't link to it. Um, but I just thought I wanted something that I hadn't ever seen anywhere else. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and if I ever do cut into it and make something out of it, then it will always remind me of our amazing time in New York. Um, I thought I could make like, I was thinking something like a a by hand London and a dress. I've got two and a half yards of this. So again, not a huge amount, but yeah, quite a simple fitted bodice and then a nice kind of A-line skirt. Be beautiful for like weddings and um, events and things. Should I ever go anywhere nice like that? But yeah, I love it. To be honest, I'm quite happy just wrapping myself in it and stroking it and looking at it. I've got it hanging off of the mannequin in my office um, so that I can look at it nearly every day. <laughs> um, so that's the other part of the reason why I wanted to share these with you guys because um, obviously I show you all of our fabrics and I talk about them and sometimes I think, or oh, maybe you guys think that I'm just, you know, sounding like I'm passionate about them because they're mine and I sell them. I love fabric. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love fabric. Um, going to a fabric shop is my idea of heaven, which is why I own one. <laughs> and actually going to someone else's fabric shop is almost sometimes even more fun because I haven't got to worry about whether things are in the right place um, and whether everything it looks nice and orderly. And yeah, so I love fabric, what can I say? That's that one. Then, <laughs> So I only bought two while I was out there, and I fell in love, obviously. I fell head over heels with something else that they had, and it was so, so special. Again, never seen anything like it. And it was really expensive. I think it was about $70 a yard. Um, but it's an ex Oscar de la Renta lace, applique lace and I left it because I'd already bought those two and I thought no um you know when am I going to make anything out of that and I really couldn't justify the cost it was really really expensive and then basically since then I couldn't stop thinking about it all the time I kept thinking about that lace and about three weeks after we came back I looked on their website and it had gone into the sale so it's still quite expensive um, I think it was down to $55 a yard which is I think the most I've ever spent on fabric in my life and plus it meant that I had to pay um, postage from the States I bought it because I couldn't help it so I'm going to show you um, so they sent it in a nice um, mood cardboard box and this really made me laugh this is the, the back and it says I hope you don't sew upside down to <laughs> um, to tell you which way up it is but I'm gonna show you this lace and I hope you'll understand why I lost my mind a little bit I bought two and a half yards of it um, and if it is still available I'll link it down below just in case anyone's as mad as me um, yeah, and yeah it's um, Oscar de la Renta red 3d floral lace um, it doesn't actually say on here how much it was, but um, I'm pretty sure it was down to $55 from $70. And yeah, most definitely the most special fabric I've ever owned. Um, okay, are you ready? So here it is. It is, let me hold it up properly. Oh, it's quite hard to show you because of the um, cat's it. There you go. So it's a really beautiful, looks a bit orangey on here, but it's not. It's got these little applique um, lace on it as well. These 
beautiful finished edges um, and it's just stunning it's as I say I think it's one of the most gorgeous fabrics I've ever seen um, and I love it let me fold it up a little bit so that it's not quite so sheer and you might be able to see the colour a bit better yeah so obviously it's very bright and very bold and I have no idea when I'm going to wear a bright red lace dress or even if I'm ever going to pluck up the courage to sew with something so special but I'm just happy <laughs> that I've got it to put it in my fabric stash and again I, I I just put it in a display cabinet. Um, but no, I was thinking, I've got two and a half yards, I could make something quite simple. Um, I would obviously line the body because um, it's completely see-through. Um, and then have, like, you could see through the sleeves and see through the bottom of the hem. Um, but yeah. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, okay, so that is the three fabrics that I bought. And I also even bought myself a tote bag um, because I needed to carry my fabrics back to the hotel. So I've got a nice big tote bag there. And actually, that reminded me when I was getting this ready. Oh, I think my tote bag was actually propping up the camera then. Sorry guys. So um, we also have some satisfaction totes now. So um, these are, if I hold it up, hopefully you can see. I've got some stuff in here, which is why I think it's like that. Um, but I use this all the time. So it says satisfaction, and it's got the um, phonetic pronunciation, and it says the feeling of achievement and happiness that occurs when sewing something wonderful with beautiful fabric, which is truly what I want everyone to think of and feel like when they, um, you know, have any interaction with us, whether that's um, coming into the shop, buying some of our fabrics, sewing some of our fabrics. Um, yes, yeah, so I've had them printed on two tote bags. They're all made from um, recycled plastic bottles. Um, the fabric is um, PET, which I can never pronounce the chemical word, but it's basically all recycled plastic, mainly 90% plastic bottles. Um, the inks are all vegan ink, they're all um, completely um, environmentally friendly, and they're printed and produced um, by another small business in the UK, so I'm really pleased with those. Um, and they are on the website. If you can't get to our shop or one of our pop-ups, you can buy them online as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share my fun trip to um, Mood. <laughs> I had um, walked all day, I had no makeup on and it had poured with rain. So in the photos, I look like a drowned rat. But you can see my happy little face in them. So um, I'll pop up a couple of little photos so you can see, um, you can get an idea for what it looks like. If you're going to New York and you love fabric, go and give them a visit. And also go and visit some of the other shops in the garment districts because um, they all look like they'd be amazing too. I hope you all have a really good week. Um, I will be back soon definitely soon with um i'm not sure which video is coming next but yeah i'll be back soon if you haven't already subscribed then please do hit the button down below um and you can also keep up to date with us on our social media so like our instagram and our facebook and everything and i'll link all of that down below as well but i will see you for another video next week take care guys bye <laughs>